this video, I'm going to talk about the modified Allen test. So let's get started. The modified Allen test is performed before collecting an arterial blood gas on the radial artery. Now, what is an arterial blood gas? This is also sometimes referred to as an ABG, and it's a blood test that's collected from an artery that assesses the oxygenation and acid base balance of a patient. And the blood sample for this test can be obtained through an arterial line, also known as an art line. And think of this as like direct access to a patient's radial artery. A lot of patients who are in the ICU have an arterial line, or it can be obtained through a needle stick via an artery. The most common artery used for this type of test typically is the radial artery, but the femoral and the brachial artery can be used as well. Now, why do we do a modified Allen test before we collect an arterial blood gas sample from the radial artery. Well, let's talk about the radial artery for a moment. So find your thumb located just below your thumb over where your radial bone would be is your radial artery and you can feel it pulsating. And then just next door on the other side where your ulna bone is located, that's your ulnar artery. Now these two arteries work together to deliver fresh oxygenated blood to your hand and its structures. And we always wanna make sure that these arteries can do that. So this modified Allen test is going to check blood flow to the hand to ensure there is good collateral blood flow to the hand in case that radial artery develops problems after the ABG collection. So in other words, it wants to make sure that your ulnar artery can work as backup in case we need it. So now let me demonstrate how to perform the modified Allen test. Before you perform the modified Allen test, you wanna turn the patient's hand so the palm is facing up, have the patient make a clenched fist, and then find the radial and ulnar artery. And to help you remember the steps of this test, remember the word Allen. First, you're gonna apply Apply firm pressure to the radial and ulnar artery at the same time with your thumbs or fingertips. This will temporarily stop blood flow to the hand. Then let the patient open and close their hand several times. The hand will start to lose its color, hence it's going to appear lighter or blanched. Loosen pressure on the ulnar artery only, but keep pressure on the radial artery. Then evaluate the return of blood flow from the ulnar artery to the hand. A normal response will be that the hand returns to normal color, hence appears flush within less than five seconds. And if this is the case, you know that this radial artery is good to go for collecting an arterial blood gas. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And if you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the description below.